Can't come tell about religion And you don't know All the things that I know Babylon taking me division I know And the Bible says so It was you Just like scribes and Pharisees Never knew No, no When Jack come, that's the way it will be Couldn't take Natty Jade riding in on Palm Sunday I am here vibing one of the most multi-talented members of Jamaica's entertainment industry. A man who wears many hats. Artist, instrumentalist, songwriter, actor, among many other things. His parents named him Anthony Wilmot. But we know him as Billy Mystic, you know. Father of Billy. Billy Mystic. Yes, I give The great time. CC. No. <laughs> no. No. I don't like the kind of great thing. You don't like the kind of great no, thing. No, Sir no. CC. Yeah. All is well, sir? Most things is well, and I don't know if you can say all is well, because the earth is big, you know, and enough things are going out there, and some people are feel it while we might all right. So, yeah, man. most things where we are observed are all right, but still, enough things still want to fix up, you know? True that, true that. Teach them! Always make sure the message will reach them! The father, Billy. Tell me. <laughs> it's a most things okay. Yeah, man. Oh, most still, thing okay. there I give thanks for health and strength and daily food. So far, you we know. Praise yeah, thy man. name, O oh Lord. Yeah, yeah. man. See you, <laughs> Talk to us, though. Early life. Place of birth. All right, yes, you know. Right, I will be, yes, you know. Yeah, I will be from a from barn. Yes, I may grow the same way. I mm -hmm. grow my youth, them, my hand. I grow the grand picnic, them, yes. Everybody. Right, that's a family home. Yes. So from about a property in our family from about 1952. About 1952? So. Mm. A good stretch, that man. Yeah, man, nice. Yeah. So I talk about the property in a few, because we know there's some unfortunate things mm. going on in 2019, but we'll talk about that. How many brothers and sisters? I have two elder brothers. Two elder brothers? Yeah, yeah, uh, no they're, sister. Okay, they are still with us? Still yeah, around? Yeah, man, they're still around, but not here. Them, both of them reside in Canada. Okay. But they are them born, you know. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know, I am yes. the little lone sheep. Eh? <laughs> so, lone sheep? Yeah, we're birthed up out there, so. And Daddy Fred and Mama Cynthia? Exactly. Shut down already? Yeah, man, the two of them mm. are up, up where it's nice to be, you know. <laughs> nice to be, yeah. yeah. And they would have chanted their own path um, during their lifetime, renowned journalists and writers and yes. historians, so to speak. Yeah, and you know, them played a major part in the early political arena in Jamaica, you know, being mm. very politically active at the time, you know. Yes. And participating in Jamaica development socially, you know. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Where did you attend school? Well, I went to primary school, you know, and mm. Excelsior, and I graduated from Jamaica School of Agriculture, Rocks. Okay. Old farmer, yeah, out at Twickenham Park. Okay. Yeah, so. So that, that is means. That's a story, you know. That is a story. <laughs> so I, I think I saw somewhere where you worked as an extension officer one at a time? Yes, that is correct. When I left, when I left um, School of Agriculture, I did a, a short. Like a stint with the Ministry of Agriculture out in St. Thomas, yes. at Portland. I was the extension officer in charge of inland fisheries at the time. Nice one. It was a project that the USAID was putting out some, you know, investment island wide for developed fish mm. farming. Yeah, so I did a little work with that, yes. but I don't know. <laughs> Mama, them good and all disappointed, but I couldn't stay in them in the slave work there, you know. <laughs> it was a cut out for me, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mommy and daddy, as I said earlier, yeah. did fairly well for themselves as as um. Well, as said, well as you can as do well as, as as a journalist back yeah. then, you know, because journalism like journalism wasn't, rich. No, journalism. We know journalism wasn't a, a money career yes. in those days, especially, you know. Yeah. So, but my father was, was very astute in terms of looking at how he was spending money, you know, and he was able to procure the property here, 
Mm. You know, mm. and build a nice little house for it and thing. And nice little house? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, nice little know. house, man. So that was good. So it wasn't man. too bad growing up, financially speaking? No. Who does that mean? I never, me never, me never suffer as a youth to grow up. Would that be what you call one of the more privileged youth in the area of Bull Bay at the time? Mm. You know, but I did grow in Bull Bay. All of my friends in Bull Bay, I grow. I grow, run up and down Cane River to. To, to, to St. Thomas, you know, right, I saw eight miles the Cable Lot Beach. Yes. You know, used to the run-ins in the area, yeah, so for years, barn and grass, I said when it was just probably about 10 families in the whole area. Mm. Come right up to now, you see, sir. Develop. Yeah, you know, whole heap of housing scheme and, you know, a lot of people you don't even know anymore in the, in the community yes. anymore, you know. Whole heap of people you grow with them grew up and migrate and them things there, so, mm -hmm. you know, a it's, different place, yes. but You made Bull mention Bay. that you attended Priory. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, school we kind of have a reputation. No, man, I paid aristocratic <laughs> elite, people. Elite, elite, yeah, elite. Man. Yeah, man, yes. and that's when I learned that even though I grew in a Bull Bay with my parents and I did feel as though we did kind of financially secure, and when I go Priory, I realized that my father not really rich none at all, you know them <laughs> way. And that's something really got discovered, it, car. You have rich and you have rich. Yes, you know? true, true. So it depends upon your environment. So I realized my father wasn't really probably able to buy a lot of cherry gardens. Mm. He could have probably find a little lot out and of Bull, Bull Bay. Bay. You know what I mean? Levels and, to and, 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 <laughs> and you know, him drive a Morris Oxford car them time when me I got, remember clearly when I got priory. No, for the time you used to prefer my old man, let me off out of the gate. You know. I'm a walk in car. You know what you drive? My father in. drive in and some of my classmates, they must say, a taxi you take come school, you know? And, and I say, no, I'm a father. Your father drive taxi. I say, no, I him care that, you know. Everybody are coming a big skylark and Lincoln Continental and mm -hmm. all kind of big so. car and thing are coming, you know. Yeah, them days. So, you know, but it was a nice experience. Um, the teachers were very good, and them I get some big money pay. <laughs> I would have think so, so too. <laughs> yeah, you know, so them kind of... Make them, sure I said the thing Yeah, the thing have to do good, you know, mm. but most are troublesome you I don't, were? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, most are troublesome you At school, I, I, I must admit, I give a lot of trouble, especially to the, the staff. Ah. You know, I used to get a whole heap of trouble. I used to tease teacher and all them things there. And, you know what I mean? Cause problem in a, the, in a class and distract people and crack joke in a class and every minute I go on a principal and I can tell you, say, children, if you're not listening, don't do like what me do. You know what I'm a good advice, man. Yeah, don't do like what me do. When I leave, leave high school, you know, two subjects I pass, you know, about you. eight, you know. About two subjects I pass, I say, out of, Peer U and F and pay some embarrassing thing. I go back, go take O level over again, we repeat fifth farm and go back go to O level again. Same Excelsior? No. Yeah, Excelsior okay. come college and okay. I, I feel the other rest of them the same way. And I tell you, education and school and paper and them things that wasn't my way wasn't at all. No, but you see when I go when I leave and go um, rocks and go mm. to school of agriculture now. It was a different thing. God bless me when we when go to that institution there. Because anyone who you know, we can tell you so them is an old farmer. And one of the most comprehensive tertiary level course, that tropical agriculture course that was provided there in the 70s when mm. I attended, was one of the most comprehensive course available for any young person coming up. I mean, so many people benefited from that institution. You learn everything, you learn plumbing, you learn metal work, you learn agricultural engineer, you know, surveying, mm. you know, accounts and records, you do all kinds of everything you learn you have, and you have to pass every course. If you fail any if course, I, you're out of the school. Oh. Yeah, you can't graduate unless you pass every single. So you redeem yourself academically. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Then, well, man. I guess I'm a realize that, you know, I'm a bright. I'm a bright, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, I realize I'm a bright. I can't. All when the exam come, no for the course, them, me have to run the study session them mm. at night time with people because I know the course back and front, you know, so yeah. that was good, you know. Yes. Many Jamaicans first became introduced to you 
in your Mystic Revealers days, musically, but mm. at what age or stage though, Sir Wilmot, you realize eh, you have some music in your way want forward out? Well, I always did love music and growing up here, so right here, so eight mile, you know, back in the 60s and 70s when I grew up as a youth, Bull Bear did have a number of dancers. Okay. In the area, little Copa down there's a mm. island in the sun, wagon wheel, Paradise Cove, Arambe. So you'd have sun system playing out here most weekend. Okay. So we get exposed to the music, and in those days, you know, you'd have radio music and you'd have dancehall music, but dancehall wasn't the genre that it recognized as today. You right. know? It was music that wasn't of the standard where the radio I play station for radio. would have played. Mm. More about the, 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 the actual technical quality of the recording. Oh. Because in those days, everybody never have access to recording facility like now. Mm. In those days, it's like you have certain big recording studios, studios. that were mm. state of the art. And then you had other recording studios, which, are, which were much more famous, produced much more hits, but the quality of the production was lower. You know what I mean? So all of the artists that have become world renowned out of Jamaica, the majority by far came from those tiny studios, from mm, Black Art Studio and from the, the Cox and them. And, yes, and when they were recording on inferior equipment. Mm. So those songs that they would record, the radio stations would shy away from playing okay. them. Because you have to remember back in those days it was an AM frequency right, radio station. Right, right. Low quality. If you put a low quality record on it, it your station, it yeah, your station mm. will sound good. So they would have want people here hop top of the pops and hit parade music yeah, from yeah, yeah. from Britain and from America. So the dance hall music now, where they man them make. Remember said so the sound system them can figure for them music yeah. reproduction in a different way. Them have Crossover, they have box that play bass, box that play middle, and, and box that play top, mm. and, right, and it's a four, four way crossover. Wherein, when radio broadcast, in a them thing, it was a mono signal, just, just one, one signal, thing, and you could have torn it one way or the other. So basically, a sound system man could have put almost any record on him sound. Sweet. And him can touch up the bass and fix up the treble and where them couldn't do on the radio. Equalize all so, the that, so that set up a situation where some songs were definitely not radio music. Them mm. would have, you would have only hear them in the dance hall. And as we know, those were the songs that are the, the hits the of, and the classic hits of Jamaica, you understand? Mm. So me get exposed to them things and love them music there, where you're not really hear on the radio yes. at the time. So when we go to school of agriculture now, them have a school band. Okay. And at the time back in the 70s when we reached there, the school of agriculture, Rocks Band was one of the top tertiary institution band at the time. Them appear dance hall music, the, uh, the musician they would have played, and they had a good set of musicians. And me know all of the songs that they would play, because me exposed to them from Bull Bay, yes, so, and it's like you'd have a wicked thing about him, he graduate. And we are going to the new semester, and he did that work, but he would have come back, because he used to hustle the band, so he used to go, oh, okay, go play, okay, okay. go play and thing. Mm. And he was a singer, so they need somebody for rehearse. The uh -huh. song them and me, they, they know the song them now, so me start work a rehearsal and I want to come a rehearsal and sing the song because I'm not dead. And I'm ready for him when they show them come up, you know. <laughs> so, so I really kind of get into the live band thing, yes. you know. And then after a while, in my work and him go over and the band still play out. Sometimes I couldn't make it, me end up and sing with the band. Mm -hmm. And then I come back a Bull Bay now and say, you know, so we could have a banner for one. Like, come um, see our yeah, band so team going out. Work yeah. Out. And I say, you know what? I must get a mechanical band, man. And we have some youth, Patchan, Lion, and Bobby, and Jawad, and. Simba. Them youth there. You no, know, Simba never was come in. in it. Yeah, no. Okay. Them times when we just had set out some bull beer. Okay. Virginia, so, you know. So, yeah, man. So it was man. Lion and Patch, and who else? Yeah, man. Lion, Patch, Benny did it. All the people did it over pretty. the time, you know. No, man. Before pretty coming out, man. Oh. Lion. Was basic patch was pan, pan keyboard. Um, Bobby Tucker used to play oh, some Bobby guitar. Um, with Benny, Benny was right time, he used to write 
do a, do, do, for the writing back in them time there. Jawad, that played drum. Mm. You know? Yeah, man. And so those were was, some of the founding members of the Yeah, that was, the, when the Mystic, that was when Mystic Reveal as an uncle, we alone know about Mystic Reveal. We who in the group, our uncle, we All know, Lord, uncle, about, we know about the group. You know them way, nobody else in the world. Never really know about it. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 but, uh, so we started eventually. and we started to write some music and I learned to play guitar better and better. And, because the first recording we really do. Is, is 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 yeah that are the first recording where we personally do for ourselves. Okay. But the first recordings where we did we, we did do it uh, up at Tough Gang and we uh, That was fair like, at the time. No man, up at Tough Gang uh, uh, Hope Road. Okay, oh, oh up at uh, oh, yeah, oh, okay, up above please. Yeah man, yeah man. Okay. Mm. So it's like it's like when we record this so, a uh, musician we pay for we teach we teach them how the tune go yeah and then play it and record it you know so we do some recording like that you know previously you know but we did meet Judy Moat you know them people uh, really play a little part in the the whole in story the, you know the journey yeah man man like Jimmy Cliff where assists with tremendously a big chapter in our development go through Jimmy Cliff and one this one next label one next label mm. yeah man I did release mash down apartheid for we and that really give you a boost for the international marketplace yes. you know that expose you up to a whole heap of people yes. when they produce before that, we reach you know? to mash down apartheid mm. right so the first recording and so you were recording up at tough gang first yeah. but none of those songs look like never really no you know really catch on take no, on no no it was really they were actually released? yeah man some people have all some 45 now in a mere so they must sell them for all 500 euro <laughs> and them thing then yeah man yeah some little tunes of star in the east and all some little song where, where we record from way back now the day i think we did record some of them up at arm um, up at the top of Mountain View, there's so a Mikey Carroll them so Okay. There. Yeah, man, over Mikey Carroll them, we did do some recording. Because them time, there, so most of Judy Moore the musicians did there. So oh. through the link, we kind of. Oh, you know, the match, man. Yeah, the match. we kind of link up, you know. So them. you guys moved away from Tough Gang because why? This no, thing. we never was with Tough Gang, you know, just we just save up the money and just say, you know, what? Money and do yeah, and spend the money and. Record with tune, cause we got a million different auditions and nobody never accept we, you know. Yes? Yeah man, we got audition all over Jamaica man. Every time we hear about audition. Oh, did it? Yeah. But yes what happened now? You see after a certain amount of let down, I start to say to myself, where we are audition for? We start you know, cause I never really know nothing about the music business really, you know. So I said, why we are so I ask some people, said so, so so uh, after we there the audition, suppose them select me, what, what, what next? You know yeah. what I mean? Because here I come to audition and I want them to pick me, but they don't pick me. You know? But if they did pick me, where would I go on? Mm. I'm saying, you mean, man, the producer of that, man, I have him taping on him, where you know, sit, I have pay the musician them, and I explain to me, say, and that's why you want a man, you like your tune, because I'm the producer. You know, see, I have a tape when the music has got record, I have, you know, for one of them tape there. I say, how much for one of them tape there? <laughs> You know, see? Yeah. And we just find out how much for one of them tape there and we just start save. Until we buy we own a tape and we mm. book one a studio time and get one a musician and put the thing together and from once we make one song and put it out there, it's like all of a sudden people start taking it serious. Oh, you know them where they in the industry, ne you know what I mean? Negos or Negos Beat, or Yeah, pronounce. Negos Beat. Negos yeah, Beat. man. Negos Beat was our first label release. We not on that label there, mm. you know. That was a historic moment for we when we do them thing there, yes. you know. I'm gonna ask you a question now because you say anyway the auditions them they wanna reach there, but in a year Ed, why were you guys being? Because I mean, if you listen to Mystic Revealers music, you will understand, you know. Our music never really conform to. You have to remember, the Jamaican music is a producer-driven marketplace, mm. you know. It's, when we did a get into the music. It was group, right. Third World, Bob Marley and the Wheelers, Peter Tosh and him band. You know what I mean? It was them thing there. Then it did move over right when we are coming. That way inspire we. Because we was a band, a performing band, a group. You know what I mean? It wasn't Billy Mystic and some musicians. Right, right. You know what I mean? So it's like when the thing move was going over digital thing and I whole if a digital rhythm start make that means say, 
the man never need musician to make a thing and just mm. sit down I'm with, with a Casio and a drum machine and one man make everything and him have this rhythm and him just bring 10, 20, 30 mu artists to come Record. perform upon it. It's like that kind of breakdown and that was so popular at the time like wow this is a new vibes new electronic feel to the music everybody did into it you know steely and cleave with them and do them thing and you know what i mean it's like it was a vibe where everybody was interested and it's like the group sound is like that are all news now you know see that this are the new thing now the dj thing called bob marley pass off now and it's king yellow man and the head of the thing now so it's like dance all the thing i got away there you know the only thing we did see if we was that the international reggae audience is always five, ten years behind what's happening in Jamaica. <laughs> so it's like yeah. when, when the whole change was happening in Jamaica and the dance hall thing that pick up, it never pick up same time abroad, you know. Mm. And it's like we come in in a time when it's like the last new, new group we had come out of Jamaica as a band, a performing self-contained band. Yes. It was like we were like the last little bit tight we leave over from the 70s coming into the 80s. So when people did already, I get all of the bands and groups where they didn't know about Heroes Mystic Revealers. Mm. And, and, and we came in around them time, the Steel Pulse, Aswad, and them groups. There. So it's like we did all a little part for Jamaica in that kind of environment yes. there. You know what I mean? Because we go to go join with, we start touring our monks, burning spear, them Israel vibration, all of them had a foundational app. You know what I mean? But was a do the road them time that we get to interact with them in other environments. So we became very popular in Europe and in the States and the West Coast and them places. Mm. And we get a nice like about a nice like a 10 year old. Nice like a run. Mm. 1982, that was winner. Yeah. And then 1983 now, okay, Mash Down Apartheid. Right. That was the first song we kind of start opening up the international yeah. space to, to you guys. Yeah, man. Because yeah. Apartheid was a very topical issue at exactly. the time. Exactly. And, and, and through the links we have with Jimmy Cliff, we were able to make an arrangement where we were able to direct some of the resources to the African earned, National to Congress. To the ANC, yeah. Mm. So that, that, was, that encouraged we, you know. Cause we get a letter back from them where I tell you, say, you know, them. So, this is a group with some artists when I really met no name yet. Yeah. Just start public collecting a local food and them I say, yeah, some other food there, eh, we are give it to the cars. Eh? Yeah, cause that are the cars. Whose decision was that? No, man, I'm, uh, it's a collective decision. Collective decision. Man. Yeah, man, the suggestion, I met the suggestion, but you never have to stuff it down nobody's throat. Oh, okay, you every man, I mean? every yeah, man. Yeah. See, the, see, the, see the importance yeah, of it. Yeah, man, and that was the thing. It's like, what we can do because we. When we are learned about apartheid them time, you know, it would be kind of naive, you know, we think say, them things that they done from slavery days. We never really realize, say, it's a sin for be black in a, our modern time where we are living with, uh, you know, them way there. So it's like when we really say that really are going in Africa, it are going. Yes. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> it shocked we as youth and youth in you know, the 70s. So, you know. Yeah, man, all the dog them vexed. Puppy are vexed, too. <laughs> yeah, man. I want to tell you, say, we interview with the one dog fighting. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Who will you say? Go lie down. Boogie. Marshall Apartheid was done for Jimmy Cliff, one S label. Yeah, man. Newton mm -hmm. married them time there. You know, was, that was a nice like, period of time in our yes. development, you know. Because you need equipment and we get a lot of experience in you know, the recording um, technique. Right. Cause Jimmy Cliff did have a nice rehearsal room. They have like a one inch 16 track, one inch machine in there. So we run, go buy one, some one inch tape and start record the rehearsal mm. them. And that's how it really happened. Say, but I asked Jimmy, say, Jimmy, we have a, a part of the tune with a love. He released it for you. And I said, all right, do a demo in the studio. Feet. And when him come back after the tour, if it sound good, he will produce it and, and put it out. And when he come back from the tour and we play the demo we make, he just carry go cut stamp at the same time. So, so you know, see it? I hope they mix that. Yes. You are credited yeah, on, on many of the tracks released by Mystic Revealers. Yeah, man. You were the writer, writer on Master and Part, eh? Yeah, man. Soul writer. Yeah, man. I mean, writer. The majority of the things are my. There are a few songs that we collaborate on. Yes. But 99% of the writing are really me. Uh -huh. Really do the writing, you know. 
Speaking so. about Jimmy Cliff a little bit, sorry to cut you. Mm -hmm. You would have um, become familiar with Jimmy Cliff through an appearance in the movie Club Paradise. Yes, that is when we get close to Jimmy Cliff first. Yes. The, you know, I'm environment, you know, and the band and all. Because I remember, me never grew up at Trench Town. So, and I'm music me never grew, Yeah, you understand? <laughs> we out of Bull Bay. That's so funny. Grew. So, so it's like, we get introduced to the to the to the stalwarts of the music industry mm. through a through different way, you know. And because we did that Second Street or Ray Ray or First Avenue. Bond or, Street or whatever. Yeah, yeah we never I never really that way that we, we get immersed, you know. Mm. Along the way that just lead among certain people and the connection make you So know? you actually had a role in the movie? Yeah, man, we get a little extras role. Oh, it know. was an extra role? Yeah, man. So all you get into having that thing, and the music, it that means at the time. Yeah, the building, yeah, man. but you know, me have a manager where I look out for any little thing that I ah. go on still, you know what I mean? So we have to give thanks, you know? Okay, I saw I go on, man. Yeah, man. And it work out. But you know, strangely, Mystic Revealers, as, as the world know you, you, you guys started out as a Revealers first. Yeah, we start out as Revealers. Yeah, first. but there was another group me and the revealers. Well, you know what? Uh, there is a number. There is a number of groups. Revealers. Over the years, revealers is not a little unique name. When nobody never dream of it. Okay. You know? So a whole heap of people dream of it, but <coughs> who can take your dream and make it something more? You know what I mean? And that's the real thing, you know, the real yeah. question, and uh, uh, we really get to I do, that. do that. So it's like we say revealers, and then we say, you know what? Uh, because when we just start, we just learn to play, and we never really think about the name. So when we are going to release the record now, we are going to release, um, I think when we are going to start work on the album, I would say, you know, so we are going to take this thing serious now. I say, you know, so we need a descriptive thing in the name. Because where we are reveal, reveal as well. It could have been ah. all and take out them clothes or, you know what I mean? <laughs> we really want to know what is, you know, see, so yeah. this or now, and so I put forward the suggestion, so we could have been mystic revealers, you know? And the group said, yeah, that sounds good. So I saw them end up stop calling me Mystic. I was yeah, revealed as the whole time. You know, see, it's some of them call me Mystic until Billy yes. Mystic and thing, you know. Where did Billy so, come from? Well, you know, say, uh, uh, my grandfather did name Billy, you know. Oh. So like, them, me, me kind of adopt that name there, really and truly, you know, when I go to school, you know. Yes. Yeah. So, my middle name is William, you know, so. William. Mm. Oh, so it's Anthony William. Yeah. <laughs> Who so, will what? So the Billy come off of the William. Okay, okay, okay. And that stick. Billy Mystic. It's a mm. mystical thing. Well, it's it, it easy to say, you know. Easy to say, but true. Easy. Yeah. Eventually, the band started. Or the group. Is a band or is a group? It's a band. It's a band. Record is a yeah, self contained band. Self contained band. So on the record, and also back people. No. No, 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 no back in. No. Individual musicians, of course, we work on other different projects. Oh, okay. But not together as the band but back in. Back in anybody. Yeah. They don't come in like whalers. Right, right. Come right, right. whalers, so it's like whalers. Not really play. back nobody. Yeah, but they did. They did back. Yes. I will them back to the more, them back retired yeah. but them work well, on yes, a whole yes, heap of things. Yes, but, yes. but those songs weren't released as Judy Moat and the Whalers are. Uh, you know, it was just Judy Moat, uh, you know. Yes. And, and all of them musicians they individually record and lots of different projects, mm -hmm. you know, over the time. And as you know, the wheelers is made up of a whole list of People, musicians yes. passed through that banded over the years. True. You know? So it was a similar thing with us. Uh, mash down apart, I come on a mash down your road. Mm. No, so make a name it did, yeah, it now. did well over in Africa, obviously. Naturally. You know? yeah, Naturally. That, that kind of make we get a little name in Africa, make people over there to start follow what we are doing, you know? Yes. Yeah, so, so the international doors were opening up? Yeah, little by little, little by little. We still never have no big number one Jamaican song, you know, so from, if you're not a boss of Jamaica, it come in like... You're not a boss. You're not a boss. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. So really, we were fighting that kind of uphill battle. Mm. But whenever we tour, it was great. Support, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the... the, the, the and true, we never so big in Jamaica, the, the big international promoter them for the show them and the festival them. We love that car them could have easily say them yeah. not we're we not big money no. car. We're not, we, big, like we're that not yet. big like that yet. But when <laughs> but when we touch the stage up there, so, and that the people them are look for, you know yeah. what I mean? They, they look for that kind of 
Steel Pulse, Bob Marley, Inner Wheelers, Bob Inner Marley. Circle, Band, Thing and Ears, Mystic Revealers, brand new band out of Jamaica with a sound of them own and you know them really? Yes. So we get a nice little piece of the food going through them time there, you know. Give Travel all right. over the world. Yeah, where were, the, you where were some of the places early out that, that the group went? Well, the first tour we really get, you know, it was because we performed on Reggae Sun Splash on the beach party one year. Yeah. And you did have this lady named uh, Paula, where in her England, in her London, she did have a deal with the Arts Council up there. And she did, she did sell them on an idea, say, West Indian diaspora in, a, in, a, in a Europe and England especially. Them, them get access to the, them, them traditional and cultural music from the Caribbean. But them, them, them not exposed to any upcoming group. They only will know about a group or an artist when they bust. Mm. So it's like there's a disconnect in them cultural heritage. So you know, it's different when you know an artist from when him just a come yes. and him doing first show and you follow him career come up, you feel more attached to him. So she say the people in, um, in uh, England and uh, London especially needed access to know what is upcoming in uh, the music. So she approached the arts council and said she would have make up a company where go out, look for anything that's bubbling under the quiet and bring them up and expose them so that the people could have said mm. them know about them artists from before them bust. Very interesting that yesterday that we yeah. come talk and talk about Jamnesia. Ah, right. is a similar concept. So, ah, right. You understand? Mm. So that she really do and get we for go up there. And so when we go up on the tour now, she carry through England. It was so successful that she wanna carry back the next year again. And but part of the clause of the, the, the contract with the arts council is that they can't bring one group more the than same once. Because right, expose new, as many people right. as possible. So she ended up now just opening her own company for <laughs> tour. She realized that she can't open a touring company because she have a group like Mystic Revealers. Yeah. She can't do it. And when she had booked, she had get 15% of her booking and it's like she has sell we has the next thing I come out of Jamaica where nobody no know about and as she have it. And she sent her right through with like about 13 weeks in Europe. The whole of Europe from Norway down to Spain, everywhere. At every festival she get up on it. And that kind of cement in Europe in them time there. Mm. And exposed with her to a, a, a regular tour opportunity the service that summer. That was 89. Yeah man, coming right the through 90s. the 90s, right through the 90s. The first, the first time when we got to England, I, I think I 88. Mm. The first time, you know. So, and that like carry go right through. Japan and them places. Yeah, man. Well, that time in the 90s. That time you know, in the 90s. You know, Japan, we end up. Japan, Hawaii, we go all over. We go Central America, South America, you know. We after, a good little run. Yeah, after much long apartheid, which was the next track where the people them kind of hung up and accepted. Well, uh, for me, a uh, religion, me religion. say, you know. Religion was Beautiful the one that really, we, we really, we really turn things around now mm. in a major way where we start get some decent remuneration for we show them when we go abroad, you know. Mm. Um, that kind of opened the Jamaican it, audience yeah man, as well. Yeah, man. It's like them be proud away with that one. Everybody they really take on to that tune there. You know, we and DJ Soldier, you know, work on a song there. And we crafted it, you know, because at the time, Singer and them kind of collaboration thing that wasn't so common, right, right, like right. between a band and a DJ, you know. So it's like we, we kind of create a, a energy, you know, because we write the song the same way and you know, work out with the DJ the, 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 the arrangements and things like that to make it work. And because we basically took, we just decided to take the verse and adapt it to DJ. So me would have said the verse and then he might answer it in a DJ, DJ fan. Right. And we do use a technique. Music video and all. Yeah, and then it's like with our work with, with Karyang them time there and Gang Sound and Ras Records, all them people because Ras Records is in Washington. Yeah, Washington. Mm. You were assigned to them? Not immediately, but okay. yeah, we, we we were assigned to them. We ended up being signed to them. But the manager the manager realized say, you know say. A music video, I do the thing them days. Eh? So, music video in them time that was very expensive. expensive to put together. Can I remember when we did, we end up contract for the two music videos 
together at the same time. Remember Romeo. Remember Romeo. And, That's how we called Rachel and I. Right. Remember Romeo and religion. And we ended up shooting that on a one weekend shoot. And remember clearly the budget was 40,000 US to shoot the two videos. And there. that was about 92 there, there about. Yeah, and a 16 millimeter them shoot it pan. And, yes, and we have two big grip truck I drive with, we go everywhere. And, we have like four 10K lamp on them. You know, we have like a movie set. Production setting. Yeah, man. All when we shoot mm. the church scene out of Port Royal, man. Out of a religion. Yeah, mm. them things they have at midnight we are shooting you know, and, and I'm shooting it, make it look like day. Yeah, you know, with they the light, light, light with them have a blast through the window, them. You know? So, and then now, uh, but what that did for us was give us a, a video Vision. of a quality yeah. that could play across the board. So that opened me up to MTV, that opened me up to BET, -E that opened us to the, the South American channels and all of them things because the quality was, was so pristine at the yeah. time. Not, you never have a lot of people that produce it at that level. So that might have thrown yeah. over a few people's head. That video, Religion, mm. was premiered on BET yeah, man. Yeah, and man. MTV. And it go all over, it go all over, all kind of chart, all of the video chart, them all over through Europe, Scandinavia. All of them places, it, it was on every reggae chart, that, that, that video. It was on all of the video charts them at the time. You know, straight all through America and them thing there. And uh, that opened up, uh, that, that was like the, the real starting of the A day for us. You know, when, ah. when, when we could have started turning on show and them <laughs> Demand certain price. No, no, even said demand certain price, but we had that so I many know clashing. Work, then. No, we had clashing offers. Oh, the thing you know big then, Billy, man. Yeah, it's like, Spain World want you soon, and, no. and, and, and Japan want you and you know see it and they must, the two of them have said they can pay more and all them type of thing there, you know what I mean? And people are adjust them show and say, alright we can put back our festival, they book from ahead of time. So they can all adjust them festival because they don't announce the dates of the festival yet and if we are going to Japan till that date there, they can get me to Europe in a two days after that. So. You know, see it and we can come on the last night after them festival. So all them have to do is ease back them festival. That and if that can work, you know, holy a little thing. Mystic start, you start reveal, man. Yeah, you start feel, <laughs> you start feel some other energy there like, bro, oh, no, we really are doing it, you know. You go upon some stage and remember when we go upon the stage in Japan. And uh, um, I think it was Kawasaki Stadium, a big baseball stadium where them have and like us. Reggae sun splash them time, then like 60,000 people in the arena, in the, in the, in the uh, stadium. And at the first place, the people saw. So. Well, when them are like when the gates open, at three hours, they have to open the gates for just for people to come in. So much people are coming in and are full up the place. You can't just open the gates and start the show an hour later, because nobody is reaching yet. The place still are full up. Yeah, man. And doing the research. Father Billy and, and listening here, Mystic Revealers is bigger than many Jamaican, well, not so many, than some Jamaicans seem to than think. Many. Many. Mm. Yeah, man. I mean, our group, one of them group, the way to go, interesting for do a documentary about it after them talk about everybody and them feast of them talk, the whole of the story them about Jamaican reggae music and all of the artists them and the who's who. Yes. And you run out of people for talk about at that time that they might really they 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 realize they might realize that blow, you know, some Mystic Revealer's story are one very interesting yeah. story and them really different, you know. Yeah, but any ill will to the fact that, you know, you guys probably are not given the credit that No man, I just do him thing, you know. No, I just do him thing, man. I'm a for vex with Ja. I'm in there right now. I'm in there right now, you know. Look how much man when I grow with and born and live with and them man they pass That's off man. and gone. I'm in there with life same way. How I could have feel away? Mm. No man, I make rulers of tens and rulers of thousands and rulers of tens of thousands, you know. You know, see, blessed is he who just found word if you make a ruler. You know, see, don't watch how much people are following your thing. Make sure so your message is real. Yes. And make sure so it has something where you can stand up for. You know what I mean? Because that is it. enough man of a whole heap of ratings, you know. But when him go face Jay, you know, and him realize where him did I say, and where him did I promote, and where him did I deal with, him go afraid for go face Jay, you know see? I'm not really stayed away there. You can listen to the whole of my song, them come down, everyone. I care why is a thought out thing with, with a message where I can say, 
adapt me say yes. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. So uh, that was really the energy at the time, you know? Yes. But you want to look a piece of religion for your people, them, no man? I'm a guitarist. Oh, you get want it? Yeah, what? I'm a guitar. So we could go out and talk to the guitar. Mm. So after religion, and remember, remember Romeo, that did well too? In terms yeah, of. Yeah, man, you know, Romeo did, did very well, very well abroad. In, yeah, man. In the United yeah, States. Yeah, man. It kicked out. Funnily enough, between religion and Romeo, Romeo was the one where kicked up in um, Europe for it. In a big way, and the states, you know, it it really go over well yes. there, and kind of open up the place for it away. So, yeah, man. And yeah. then after that, we had other things too, you know, with Space it. Space and time, and yeah, them beautiful song again. Yeah, man. And message uh, mm. eternal, you know. Hey, before we talk about space, <coughs> yeah, man, you can't come in, man. Yeah. Mm. Well, like this, before we talk about space and time, you guys actually started. The recording aspect of the thing, uh, you know, are practicing together in about 1988. Mm. But you never did your first album until 1985, there, there about. No, man, Young 90. Revolutionaries. Young Revolutionaries. 95, about 95. No, man, Young Revolution. We did release that already, you know, locally in it Jamaica. Was. That, that, that 93, I think it was, um, release. Debut album. Was. 92, yeah, 92, 93, yes. Yeah, that, that album was um, re. Mastered um, and, and re yeah, and reissued through Carrying through Gang Sound Records, Aww. which was ended up distributed. It was produced by Carrying and an executive produced Mikey Lee, them, and then it went to Gang Sound, who manufactured it in the States, and Ross Records distributed it. Okay, you know, so that was the real thing about that. But that was a debut body of work. The, 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 yeah, yeah, Young Revolutionaries. That was the one that the world know know first of all. You know? And you guys were actually seen as that Young Revolutionaries. Yeah, man. The message, yeah, black man. consciousness, yeah, black empowerment. Yeah, it was what it was what there a certain aspect of the international reggae marketplace was looking for, you know. Mm. And we just happened to fulfill. What I need, you know? Yes. So. Religion. Religion. You want to look a piece of it? Can't come tell about religion, and you don't know all the things that I know. Babylon take him a division. I know, and the Bible says so. It was you. Just like scribes and Pharisees never knew, no, no. When Jack come, that's the way it would be. Couldn't take Natty Jed riding in a Palm Sunday. You couldn't take Natty Jed riding in a Palm Sunday. But you won't come tell I a religion, and you don't know all the things that I know. Babylon take him a division. I know the Bible said so. Yeah. Beautiful song, brother, brother. Yeah, yeah, you know. Soulful, yeah. deep. Yeah, that like uh, <laughs> Well, as Rasta, we love them tune there. Rasta people, they embrace that tune there, you know. Yeah. Them and yam bun and cheese for Easter Monday. Monday. And they don't know what they don't know go on on Good Friday, yeah, you know. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and them energy. Them. A reality, man. Yeah, man. A reality so. set is. And, and normally the, the songs don't really take on, though, Father Billy, as you then know, some of people can relate to. That is yeah, very man. relatable. Yeah, man. Yeah, very, man. very relatable. Yeah, so, Young Revolutionaries, how well that do do in terms of, you know? I'll know it as well. I'll know it as well. I'll know it as well. And more and more people, like said, right now, some vinyl, more vinyl, we've got press you now, because the, the vinyl market has become. I grow, yeah, man, I explode. And, and people, and I people are look for some. Some record with them never did get them hands span before them them mm -hmm. I look them up now, you know. Yeah. And true we not press nothing. Me I see some ridiculous price out there pan pan eBay and all them things for some record with man. So who sell them things then? Eh? Like people where they buy it from oh, them time there. Okay, me think like yeah. a record company. No, no, or, no, okay. no, no. Like a man did have a copy it. and have it and realize eh, he pay two dollar fifty and feet and it's hundred and forty five dollar feet and yeah man, I will be thing some ridiculous price me see attached. And certain tune. We do all a tune name, uh, Rasta man in New York, I take off uh, the sting tune there, man. And trust me, people are selling for some ridiculous money online uh, right now. Mm. So, 
you know. We have, to go, we have to get back in the vinyl thing now. It has give you a little hope, say. So. All of them songs that we did do, you know, where now we probably get a second lease on life, you know. Which is good, man. Mm. Good music to live on, you know. Yeah, man. Second album, Jarrox. Yeah. 93, there, there, about. That, yeah, that are the one where we do video them, mm. you know, where we take off. Because many, many, many of the, the songs you guys did videos for. No, you know, not no? many, you know, because they did so, as I explained, it's so expensive back in them time if you do video, you couldn't just do a video as, oh, okay, as, as, you please. as, as you please, you know. Because I say, you could have shoot some video on VHS. But the quality, but the quality now, yeah, you see. Appeal to the international right, market. Right, and we were chasing that international market. Because more you had so. the international sound. Right, and we had that recognition already, so we couldn't leave from what we had, you know. And go go do something uh, inferior water, to the, yeah we we did scare of that you understand mm. cause we never have a big footprint in a Jamaica you know see? yeah we born and grow a Jamaican and can go back go do them research and find out say we legit and we authentic you know what I mean but we never, we never have a big footprint in a Jamaica yes. we was we was small in Jamaica mm. so we we afraid to, to, to reduce the quality of our offering in other environment there, you know, when, when we get a little edge upon that international market. So we did have to try to maintain a certain standard, yes. musically and visually as well, you know. 1995, Space and Time? Yeah, you know, so we put out the album, and we think it was one of the best works that we did do at the time, you know. And Still things, so? No, the Jaja people. Jaja right people yeah, at yeah. October 2020. Yeah. So yeah. we get around to that. Mm. Yeah. So, space and time, yeah. up until Jaja people, you felt was the best body of work collectively. Yeah, in terms of in terms of the songs that were selected. Because see, we, have a large, we have a large collection of unrecorded work, you know. Because, like, when we record the first album, and we say, well, we have put 10 songs on the album. By the time we ready for record the album. We have about 20 odd songs written already. Mm. So we like we pick out 10 songs and then we say, all right, we're going to put the other one then on the next album. And by the time the next album come out, another 20, another 20 songs write again too. Mm. So it's like every album we end up with a backlog, a backlog, a backlog of songs. You know what I mean? So it's like when we reach Space and Time now, what we did like about Space and Time was that we weren't, we had been at a, we were at a position where people did kind of have confidence in us creating our sound. Mm. You know, when we just start out, it's like, you yeah, depend upon producer, you yeah, depend upon engineer, because you don't really know a certain thing, you know what I mean? But by the time space and time come around, we did more studio hardened yes. as musicians. Experience. You know? Yeah, we were, we felt more comfortable. Craft and develop and grow. Yeah, yeah. So mm. up to that point, then we figured said that was our best offering at the time. But, it never meet my expectation in terms of in terms of how well it did in the marketplace. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? So probably it will get a second lease and well, life. Man. Well, well, you know, the, the music the, out there already, you know, man. Well, the greatest thing is that it recorded, you know. Good music, yeah, never and it's recorded, and even moments like this, you know, can teach them, I teach them, you know. So mm, that's right. You, you know, see, it. so <laughs> people are gonna learn, and yes. as a result of them type of exposure, somebody are gonna listen back and they might listen to an album and. They might not love the whole album, but mm. they might hear a song with them like. And the thing about our production them was like, you put out an album and somebody buy the album because they love religion. And then buy the album, Jaworks album, and then after a while, they find out that they love, remember Romeo, that tune are tough, you know. And through the band, listen to the whole album, listen to the whole album, and hear the next tune on it, and they say, boy, judgment, they are gone. And judgment. So it's like, it's like them type of, Thing there, the yes. snowball effect it yes. have the type of music where we create. It's not a music where just everybody can just jump up and dance it. But from once you have the collection and it's a play in a year collection. If you have it by your CD or by your thumb drive or in a year MP3 play and in mm -hmm. your car and your drive go Negril and you turn on the music and say, boy, I know a pay mystic revealers, me I listen go down. And you kinda get in at the mystic revealers energy, that time you would have really start feel where we're there, yes. you know what I mean? So it's that type of music where have a kind of snowball effect, you know? Mm. You have other songs where they're very popular when they come out and they run for two, three months and then nobody remember them until somebody say, you remember this one? And then play and they say, ah, all a tune there. You know what I mean? Mm. So, so you have different type of tune. Our tune is a tune where it does, the, the sales still increase. 
still still a increase, you know what I mean? I'll go check that. Yeah. <laughs> Those were the only three albums that you guys did before Jaja People? No, man. No. So after Space and Time, what came next? After Space and Time, um, this one's for Jaja. This one's for Jaja. And after that, we do one named Cross in the Atlantic. And there's a couple other compilations called Rust Records it put out. Right. A compilation. Like Crucial Cut, that, that was, no, no, that that was, was a VP. VP yeah, mm. VP, that was about yeah. 2015, 2016. Yeah, yeah. After the band came back together. Yeah, we, we decided so we was going to try it, see if we could. Because VP was going to talk to us and say, they're interested in the catalog. They didn't want to take the whole catalog. Oh. And I, you know what I mean? And I said, boy, you know what I mean? Mm. We don't have it already. And, and I like we just put out this thing and we'll need something for go on feet. You know what I mean? So we say, them could uh, select an album tone. and see what them can do with it and see how it go. You right. know what I mean? So that's what them do and them put that out. So that was a compilation album. Yeah. You know, and that kind of bring me back in at the thing we did do and um, we did do a song there. You know, her must legalize. Her must legalize, you know? right? Yeah, and we, them them did that uh, 420 a remix. Right, and we get a whole heap of young artists and things for collaborate on that one day. So in another little space of time there, we get another little boost. People start here with European, all European fans them. We start get a whole heap of social media contact. And so say, the timing yeah, was good? Yeah, man, it, it mm. came in good. Yes. You know what I mean? But really and truly, for me, I'm kind of... The road, the road not easy, you know. The road not easy. People feel like some boy tour life, our nice life, you know, mm. but our hectic, hard life, you know. When you get to certain age, you know, you, it, it's coming like you never worth it again. The money have to well tick. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you really encourage you to do some things yes. more time, you know. One at a time when you're youth. Up and down, man, yeah, I'm going to play. Yeah, you know, matter. So I want to take on the road. You know, if, if you are, if it makes sense to stay here for 10 weeks, you know, because you have like a two week flat period, but if you come back to Jamaica and go up, the amount of money for the ticket, them and think, I better mm. you just go and jam up there and find something to do. You know, them way and all them things they're wearing. No, I couldn't do that. Because now I have three day idle, it's like I want to go home already. <laughs> <laughs> you know them way they, so, 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 so the thing really feel now, you know, I yeah. go back and I go to my grand picnic them man and all them things, I can't, you know. I remember when I was in Europe, I remember when I leave for the tour and it was like a nine week tour that year they are, one of them long tour, they like two months, three months. And when we come back and we book the ticket them and we said, so all right, the last show like Sunday, we can't get that. Flight Monday morning, you know, but we have to drive four hours to get to the airport, you know, where we're there. And them times where we just have to fly out now, and while we're up on tour, and end of the tour, every man pack it, I go fat, and you know, what I mean? no man, we could when the next flight, you know, like Thursday or the next flight, yeah, man, three days, we can do some sightseeing and shopping. You see, when the tour done and the weeks them and the months them run off and you come back and you do the last show. You see the last four day there? Feel like a four it feel like a four more month I wait for go home and stop. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah, remember, right. I get a call from my wife and my wife called me and tell me, say, said, Daddy, guess what happened? I said, what? Them say, she said, your, your daughter will walk. And I said, John, you know, the whole of my youth, them and me make them walk, you know, my three sons before yeah. she, you know. I me hold them and so I let them go and make them step off and you know, I'm there German is see them so no one. My daughter walk. I man here walk and I'm there German. I said, what do you what really do? I, uh, them things that I can't live back them things. Look how much show me do. Go up on the show and do the show and the people rain, you come off and you go up on the show and you do the next show and at the same show where you've been rehearsing for three months before you come. You might play two different songs in other set there, mm. you might play two different songs, or you might do a Bob Marley in other one there, you might mix up two little things. But basically, it's just the same thing that you've been doing for the past five years. You just do over and over, over and over. Over and over. Over and over. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. If I don't know what I do, if I never have such a positive, a positive wife where I could yeah. really stand up and hold it. Before you know them where they, where they, Yeah, you yeah, understand? You know, as she really did it when me not did it. Right. You know what I mean? And as she did have a little work and music is a thing where you get the money and then things tight and then you get and 
if she never have, if she was not a teacher and I go school I go school I teach and thing. Enough at the time balance. the light enough time enough at the time them king, enough at the time the light bill wouldn't pay. So I have to give her a due respect. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I may deal with my my money them is come in nice car when we come in with us yeah, but, come yeah, in with a lump sum mm -hmm. and we can make certain things go on, you know what I mean? And then we go on, survive, 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 you know. So it was a, a journey, you know what I mean? So is that experience part of the reason why the band went on a hit us far? No, really, it's because the digital music thing come in. Our thing was such a big unit, as I say, it wasn't Billy Mystic, it was Mystic, Mystic Revealers, Revealers and people I expect for see pretty or see metal or see earl or, you know what I mean? Them get Simba used to who them, is yes. the, the, the members of the band, you know what I mean? So from them not see me and them not see Nikki and them not see Lion, you know what I mean? It's like another band that I wish band that, you know what I mean? Mm. It, it, you look, so we have to keep the, the core member them there yeah. present all the while and through we run the thing for like about eight, ten years with the same set of music and you couldn't just sneak out one and put in somebody new without People, People say, like, yeah, where, 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 where Sky Juice they are, you know what I mean? Yes. So, when the digital music start coming now, and the first demise of the music industry was cassette. When the record them start come out from cassette. Cassette, right. And then them start make double deck cassette, and man could have dub off your album. And that, that's how <laughs> the first real lick. Yes. Where the music industry get for artists and musicians. Because up to that point there you just buy a record and a, a record store, you go buy it. And if you scratch a record, you go buy a next one. And if you like one of my tune, then you have to buy the album for you eighteen dollars or twenty dollars US. You know, see. Now you listen to my album and you like one tune pan it, you download it for ninety-nine cents. So I'm gonna get your eighteen dollars, you know see. Me shot, me shot seventeen dollars and, and, and one cent. That's all cent. You know see. Me, <laughs> me, me shot this or no, you know what I mean. Yeah. So the thing is like the, in, the record company them now where you used to support the group them because me record a tune for Ras Records. Ras Records that distribute the tune. When the tune come out or the album come out, it in a Ras Records interest to support me doing a tour. Cause when me do my mm. tour, my tour is advertising. For the, for, the, for the album, you know, see it. And it's going to make so when me land at Miami and do two good shows in the Miami region, Monday morning people go to the record store and look for the album. Right. So it, it, it feeds into the thing. So after a while now, them come in with the, with, the, with the CD and man start burn CD and things. So it's like people start buying music and the record company them now never have that lump sum of money come in like mm. what they used to have from, from vinyl sales. So them couldn't support you, them couldn't say, in a year one contract, group. Yeah, in a year contract, one at a time, them could afford to give you $20,000, you know, like one five grand a, a week towards your tour. Because them know, say, them spend a I'm 20 sell, grand with I'm you, them are going to sell $100,000 worth of record out of that. So it's worth it. You know what I mean? So they would have support your thing. Now, sales drop. A CD, man, a burn CD, man, the thing is like, Record stores are closed. One time you have a record store on every corner. Half a tree, the amount of record store in the just, just on Kansas Spring Road alone to Crossroad. The amount of record store where they're in your face. We all just end up disappear, disappear, disappear. So there was no money coming in that way there. And like the only opportunity that I get for tourists, like if Billy Mystic may have a band where can back you up here, you know, come to come do a show now. Mm. You understand? Because you can't afford all of the, the tickets, the, the bus, group. the right. hotel room, them, everybody forget pay. So that what kind of end up. I mean, never did see if just go up on a, 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 a personal thing. You know, I never want to do a you're solo not, you're not career. No, I mm. never really mm. see it that way because I never saw we get in it, you know? Yes. So I just say, well, all right, maybe that's the thing, you know? Maybe that is what happened and that is the history of revealers and things, you know? So I so end up leave that now, you know. And right. more become a mentor for the younger one them, getting at the surfing thing, you know what I mean? Start look on a different way where we can try eat our food, you know. Mm. The, the band kind of came back together somewhat in 2012? Yeah, we started rehearsing because we hadn't rehearsed for a long time. For yes. about, about a 10 year we never rehearsed for them time. There. You know, and it, we would, somebody would ask them why we come to a like a special show with a rehearse for that, but we never had a program. Mm -hmm. But we say, you know what, uh, 
We have all of these unrecorded songs, so we could start get yourself back in touch with the instrument them and see what we can can do cause we suppose we can get some tour and thing. So that's when we started. But when we applied for the work permit them, some of the man them them turned on them work permit and so that made us feel discouraged from it. So it just end up never mm. happening again to you know. So it was during the break. That you started on Royal Palm? No, man, I had the Royal Palm from when I had the While mistake. While I had the mistake? Yeah, man. Oh, oh you end up around uh, that side there? Uh, Lenny Little White. Lenny Little White. Uh, him called me, you know. Lenny called me. And I was called for come read a part. And I just go and read it. And he must say, I want to use me. And I said, But Lenny. They're not really available them kind of way there, you know. He said, no worry, man. He said, he will work with my schedule. Okay. When me come back he from shoot when me, shoot. he will shoot where I shoot. So he will make up him script them and send them come give me and so he said next week and he will say, Yeah, all right, Tuesday or Wednesday we can come and him try to set up him thing mm. and you know, but as the as the music slowed down I was more and more available. Okay. You know Naturally. What I mean? So, so it did work out that way, mm. but I was do it from me, not the music time. You enjoy that, 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 that part of the journey? It was easy. It, it was, was easy. easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it easy. A lot of people, over the time, me, me develop a whole heap of my fans them in terms of that aspect of my career. Okay. Um, a lot of fans, me get a lot of fans of me as an actor, even though I was never really an yeah. actor. You got many online pieces on here says actor, Billy yeah, Wilmot. Yeah, but. But then I realize say, uh, some people vex when they see that, you know. Yes. Like real actors, you know. Ah, because they say, the man is an actor, the man is just. The man is a musician, like and musician. just come in and do like a royal palm thing, and people just rate him up, and he might go on like him an actor. You know what I mean? Can but I ask you to run off the thing, man? So. A musician, a musician. <laughs> people are you for this, sir. Right, so he's a musician. Mm. Well, funnily enough, you know, all right. A lot of people would have said, and have said to me that me was one of the better actors on Royal Palm. Royal Palm. Only people have said that to me over mm. the time. Are you going to get no time. acting training or nothing? You're just going to read it now. No, you get yeah, because me, me, me used Natural to stage. Vibration. I have to remember 100 songs word for word in my brain. So if you give me if you give me 35 pages of script and say I have to learn my part all the time, I can sit down in a two night and, and whop off that and know it out of my head. Mm. And when you know the, the, the the lines out of your head, then you're more comfortable in front of the camera. Because when you present, when you present, you know, itch and you know, try to remember what that again. And you know it. Yeah, when you, when you do that now, you end up saying, you're acting look away. Yes. You know, see, it kind of look like you search for a sorry, you know, say it natural. Yes. So, me as a man now, me just made it my own. Me never try to follow the script word for word. Me just read it and say, ah, this it I say, you know, you know what I mean? Me never learn the exact word, me know, say, right now. Why I miss her, I come in late, I have to ask her about her mother, I just have the points of the things I mean, and then I just work with it. And I know that so she wait for a certain cue from me, mm. so I just make sure say, All right, she I expect me to say, to say that particular line when I'm done, make me, me paragraph what I talk, and when I end it now, I just make sure I finish with them things there. And so, them things they did good, but for the 18 years or so when me act in a Royal Palm Estate, for the whole of that time, I've never, I've never been approached by any other member of the cast who in the theatre world yes. with a script say, come read for a part in a one play where me I do or anything. I can see as a musician. So I've, yeah, I've never been, I've never been embraced mm. by the, the acting theater. community, the theater no, community. No, because I'm not, because I'm not an actor. Mm. So that's why I say, when people say me is an actor, I don't want to hug up that because right. I know, say, if you be an actor, you have to, I don't know all the people in theatre, all the who's who of theatre, yeah. and all the stories that went on backstage in the theatre. I know we're going up, a, up, in a, up in a LA, around a back or when we did the, in a, in a, in a, um, African center in a Leeds or mm. you know them where they, you know the story them about them place there where you be first avenue in, in a in a mil, Minneapolis and some big place where you go when you did up a Jazzy B in a London and uh, them things that we know about and right. uh, that's our time spent. So me just pop in, shoot a little thing and uh, yeah me and some who's who Volier Johnson, you know, and people like 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 uh, Mackie, 
You know what I mean? Mm, Ronald gash up on them, man. The money is Zaka. You know, uh, all of them people who was stalwarts, they were not really a part of my life. Finzi Smith and them, man. Yeah. Robert Finzi Smith and Yeah, the man. Rats. Yeah, man. And Bobby Smith and mm, them, man. There. Yeah, man. Yeah. All of them things. There. So, yes. you know, yeah. I was, I, I don't really like to embrace the part of the, the title. No, I embrace the journey. journey but not the actual But not title. the title, you know. Mm. I, I don't want to do people who spent them time and effort in the industry. I don't want to do them a disservice that way. You know, I was just a, a musician who was lucky enough to get an opportunity to do a little acting yes. on Royal Palm. Nice. You growing up in Bull Bay, seaside settings. Surfing was a part of your life from back then as, as you grew up and got no older. Man. No man, surfing are the first thing. First thing. Surfing are the first thing. Yes. Surf out of my old man back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The first, and this is where it really starts. You know what I mean? And then, spend, and then I spent nine months surfing in one big water world inside mm -hmm. of my mother. Yes. A yes, water break, I come out on the next wave and then come out in the real world and next wave surfing yes, again. Yes, so yes. I'm born here, so I'm growing at the it sea. Just continue. Yeah, I'm growing at the sea. And just like how you, you, you probably can't remember when you couldn't walk and mm -hmm. want to walk. I see him when I can't remember when I couldn't swim and walk. Can't swim. swim. You know what I mean? <laughs> so swimming just come in, like me just know so I can swim, swim from, mm. from as far as I can remember. Yes. I cannot remember say, I wish if I could have swim. Yes. You, so, you know, the surfing was just a natural part of that. Progression. Cup. Yeah, because Bull Bay full of rough sea, you know. Yes. Oh, just, I not like Negri and Ochi and Mobi and them places. See. That's a rough sea. Them tell you say you come a bull be a be with John and see if you got to see. Everybody fret for them pick them for John out mm. there. So. You know, a whole heap of people John right at Cable uh, Beach. Yes, so. yes. Round a wiki wacky. We have a little corner around there with them called Jounded Man Hole. So you must know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's a rough sea and current rough and sea. undertow and them things. Yes. We grow with that. So we used to the surfing and we swim and catch a wave from our belly and, you know. So we, we had the surfing from them time there. But in terms of like proper surfing, stand up on the surfboard, that type of thing. Um, I get my first surfboard about 1974. Mm. So I really about 74 me get an opportunity for can take on surfing and get good at it, you know? Mm. You got very good at it. Yeah man, I mean was the number one surfer in Jamaica man for years until my youth them come take over the mantle, you know what I mean? In and lick and yeah, man. I like and Ike, 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 You became mm. one of the premier surfers in Jamaica. Yeah, well, them time that, that wasn't nothing big neither, you know, because those few little <laughs> people that surf them time. Yeah. yeah. You know them way there, but in terms of surfing in a Jamaica, me one of the first ones to start do all I think them way. You see the people and that do. TV. Yeah, you know, me that man would start riding at the inside of the wave and them little thing they make people see them thing they regular and you know them way there? Yeah. So it could have done and end up go away and go all of Puerto Rico, go surf and yeah. Do a whole heap of thing in the surfing world. But my main claim to fame in the surfing world, I really the work when we do with the young youth them where we introduce the surfing and yes. get them into it and get them develop the sport to a level where you have youth now in a Jamaica where where it's considered a professional. Com oh. Professional, sir. in other yeah. words, I that them I do, I saw them up, as that him used by him care. You know what I mean? He him help out the mother and them thing there. He will fix up the mother house and them thing and the surfing. So he have contract with international surf related brands and things. They might travel around the world. Them, they get the opportunity to meet people, married all some pretty girl from Switzerland and <laughs> all them things they go on. And you know, them they all over Jamaican surfer you know all over the world. Yes. You know what I mean? And, and make all of impact. that came through the formation of Jamaican surf Jamaica As Surfing Association. Yeah. That is your brainchild. Yeah, really and truly because we are teaching youth them for, for surf and we say the youth them are get really good in the surfing and surfing is a thing where it's an addictive sport, you know so. True is not like other sports where you can say, all right, we are promote basketball, we are going to build 52 court around the island to encourage the development of the sport. You can't just build somewhere for surf. It's a 
thing we have naturally existing. You yes. know what I mean? And Jamaica is only a certain part of the island. You have the, you have the you waves have and stuff. Right. The trans. Right. So it's a thing we're limited to who can access it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so true that now you have some youth that access it, and, but it's so addictive because you can't just go shoot some hoops. You have to wait till you see in the state where I love it's surfing ready. for Guan. So is, you might want to surf, but you and surfing might be your sport, but you can't even practice it till they are wait and the sea might come for a week. And when this wave of them come, a good old granny birthday party. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and you good all have said to yourself, said, Granny must leave her next year, man. man. You know what I mean? <laughs> next year, man. man. Granny, I'm going to go granny work there next year. But mm. we can't miss them wave here. them kind of energy like you have to be there, you know, you have to take part in the surfing yes. thing. Surfing is that kind of sport where really get you tied up in it. So I never I know so I introduce the youth them to it, my youth them. And for them friends I get involved in it and them thing and it's like when true when me used to the on tour and them thing, the mother used to have to keep them occupied, so she entered them in a taekwondo, send them got football training, send them got tennis, send them got every little thing where she could have find. She get them involved in and when me come back from tour now, through me the way from them so long, I'm glad I want my time with them now. Me I say, them I say, Daddy, we don't want to go to Taekwondo. I say, no, we are going to surf, man. I watch nothing, man. But mommy I go vex. So I say, no, yeah, man, come, we are going to Portland. Wave over there. You know what I mean? So it's like, and them friends get involved too. So I start realize, say, you know, say, I kind of build some rebel. You know, where, where this really I go? Because if maybe if they make a football practice, they would all end up a play for Leeds United and I make a million dollars. You know? And I said, boy, I don't want to just get them out there, take them away from other sports, bring them another sport there when nothing really did for them. Yes. So I said, you know, I'm going to try to organize a sport and get it in a way we're in. If them good enough, it provides an avenue or a stepping stone for it a career develop out of mm. it. So that was a surfing association, you know. And then, so we'd have national team, we could have got to world games and, you know, to world qualifiers and them thing. And we send team out and you them go out and perform and them attract sponsorship and, you In know, turn. the rest is history, you know. Mm. Mm. Maka, um, uh, that's uh, the pronunciation, mm, um, that, Pro. that tournament there. Yeah. The first pro tournament like that in the region. Yeah, well, not in the region, but ended up being one of the largest in terms of spectator support mm. in the whole region, you know, because surfing still even in other places is not, is not a gigantic sport in terms yes. of crowd, you know, the amount of people we pull to our event. So the amount of people we draw out of, out of South Haven, out of Yalas and St. Thomas is, is like 10,000 people turn out for the thing, the place mm -hmm. ram jam, you know, you car can't drive, you can't walk, you know what I mean? So that was really an effort during the whole procedure to get Jamaica recognized because Jamaica is not known as a surfing, surfing destination. destination. Mm -hmm. Because millions of tourists come to Jamaica every year and they never see a wave yet in their life because they are Negril and Mobile and Ochi. Calm seas. Yeah. So it's like we had to find a way to promote the fact that no man, we have serious wave in Jamaica, you know what I mean? Mm. So it's like, that was the effort to do that. If we had a host an event and we could have put up enough cash money to attract some professional surfer to come. And if when people see them come down here and them professional surfer, get them ass broke with some Jamaican surfer, school them and show them, say, no, them you to Jamaica, them can surf on the level too, mm. you know what I mean? So that was that effort and it, it worked out and it helped for snowball the thing and make it even reach where it reach. You know? Nice. Jamnesia. Mm. <laughs> okay, I made reference to it earlier. Mm -hmm. Give us a little run down of that now. Well, when I come back off a tour and we start the surfing thing and my youth, them are my youth and them grow us so and them grow us to the banner rear so and we have equipment and them things we accumulate over the years. So it's like my youth. Them, so I tour and thing, I buy a new guitar and thing. I buy a guitar over there, so I just say, I need to control that, you hear one that, you know what I mean? Give them instrument and give them access. So the whole of them there, they do them thing and learn to play and learn to write music and get into the thing. So they decide, say, through them have the equipment, they realize, say, the equipment where they work, we could have really set it up outside and keep a little live thing 
for the surf of them. Mm. You know what I mean? So them start keep the secret thing for the surf of them. But enough young upcoming acts you now who don't have an opportunity to play. You know, realize that thing I go on out of Jamnesia every couple of weeks and them can come out on a stage, they their equipment, they their musician, they their play and them can get an opportunity to develop them craft that way there, you know. Because we, not, we noted that there was a, there was a lack of, of um, opportunity for someone in their career development Yes. to really do live performance practice. Mm. You have to have a hit tune first before a promoter will call you for come on stage show. And then when they do call you after you do have this hit, you've never rehearsed with a live band for a live show yet. So a lot of artists, that was a kind of weak point in their overall career development, you know. So this Jamnesia thing helped them. Because mm. before anybody know who them is, them could have get on a stage and know how to hold the mic and when to move the mic, stand out of the way. And them little thing there, you know. So that was a good, a good experience for them. It's still ongoing? <laughs> Well, the COVID, I mean, with the COVID thing, thing kind of probably. Yeah, it kind of cool it up. Styling. But it really sparked a whole lot of things because them, this reggae revival, I write yeah, so it evolved from, you know. All of the, all of the top artists them know where you know about, you can go interview them and ask them. That would be a good thing for you to do a little research pan and say how many artists out there have touched the Jamnesia stage and how. At what point in their career did they go on the stage and what did they do for them mm. in terms of their career, you know? Because I can yeah, tell you... Like Kabaka and Kranix and them, and them. Yeah, man, and Protégé and Janine and Raging Fire and... Yes. And, yeah, man, all of them. Nomads and Leela Aiki Leela. and... Yeah, man, all of them. The whole of them. Samori, Samori, Savannah. Savannah. And, yeah, man, all of them. That good work. That good work. You do that. All of them artists. Really yeah, so, yeah, so them really, them really come up. So, yeah. as a man, we have your finger on the pulse. It's a good little thing that we try yeah, that touch sense. base and ask them, say what they know about. You know, and some man, when you, some artists, say, 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 do you know? Do your research and know who we ask. And go to them and say, so you ever, you know, have a place named Zamnesia, yeah, and them, them supposed to laugh. Yeah. And Tell Coffee. you, yeah, man. They're mm. supposed to laugh and tell you who are, who are go on. Jamnesia, kind of pronounced properly. Yeah, man, Jamnesia. Yeah. Um, kind of slow down to COVID, but when things possible again, yeah, man. that's still the board. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Jamaica Arab Company. Yeah, Jaco. You heard that again? Well, I am, I am a part. Not in other thing. Oh, it's a part. Now. Yeah, not okay. really my thing. Okay. I really my band, my manager for the band. Mm. You know, I am really at the the man who in that full time. You know, cause you know, say I know a Rasta and Herb and them things. So, you know, it's a natural to, link. Yeah, yeah, it's a natural link. You know. So the company so growing, what, what, doing yeah, well. Yeah, man. And what we are do, what, what we really are do, what what identify when we do good. You know, cause we make tinctures and oils and them things and CBD product for cancer treatment and them things. And I give you basically, I give you the cheapest place where, where you can access it from we right now. Mm. Our thing that really for make money off of that is really for make it available to the people them. Because people need that and we don't really look upon it and say, of course there is a cost to produce it. Right. You know what I mean? But when you look upon the system out there, people are produce it, it's like the markup on the thing exorbitant you know, and it put it out of the reach of certain poor people where I suffer from cancer and them things the same way and glaucoma and all of the necessary things them so our effort is to really make it available for the less fortunate people then yes. you know so that are the whole purpose yeah. of that really. In, mm. 2000, in 2019 mm. you had really really bad experience where the family house yeah, yeah. Um, was destroyed by fire Mm -hmm. A lot of historical value was yes, lost. Yes. Things that you own, things that your parents passed down and yeah, stuff. So yeah, important. Man. And documents as well. Yeah, man. The music, thing, hard man. drive. Everything. Everything. Guitar and all them things. There's some custom made guitar that I get over the year and all, all kind of things. I don't even like things about what I lose, you know. Because uh, every minute I remember things were lost. Because we all there years after I say, wait, what happened to that thing they were I said, ah, no. Burn up my fire. You know what I mean? So it's, mm. you know, but it teaches you to look forward, you know. Because as a result forward. of that, as a, as a result of that, um, you have to turn your back on a whole heap of things. Because even a whole heap of stuff where you accomplish and accumulate, 
them get out of, yes. out of, the, out of the reality of your world, you know. Yeah. It was a learning experience, but as a result, the, 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 the um, Jaja People album come yes. out, I was able to work with the facilities where we have. And on the veranda? Yeah. So you should name your album, you know? Yeah, on the, on the veranda. veranda. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the studio name now. On the veranda. PDV, yeah. recording yeah. studio, you yeah, know? Right. Yes, yeah. and we do a lot of work up there, and we're proud of the sound we get. And as I said previously, up to this point now, I feel, I feel the most satisfied about this album. Not because I feel it have the most hit on it or anything like that, but just the, the autonomy. And the autonomy we have during the production is like, when you sign to some record company and they must spend 100,000 US for your career to produce and promote your album and thing. They have a vested interest and they have a whole lot talk, you know what I mean? Mm. So they say, boy, they would love if bringing the next producer upon your thing and the next producer come in and say, oh, that song is nice, why don't you put a bridge? Let me the guitar. Maybe if you went like this and put yeah. this there and, uh, them, and you can't say no because right now you will want this a producer and name Depp on your album because it's going to big up your album some more when they know that a producer there. Some radio station are going to play them tune, they call them and they work on them tune there. And, so it's a whole juggling thing. So you find, say, so now, this one now, I never have to do that, because I never signed to the right. company. I'm a own a place me there. Autonomy. Yeah. I'm a son, them a play instrument for me now. Mm. You know what I mean? And any musician I want in the industry, give thanks to the, all, of the, all of my peers in the play industry. Bass. Yeah, man. Uh, Aisha, keyboard. Yeah, man. And in a lick. I know the production, like, yeah. engineering part of the business. When, yeah. what, what does he yeah, do? Yeah, man, he, he, he was right and going through with yes. most side, co produced with yeah. me, you know. So, yeah, man, mm. it was wonderful that we were there, you know, to work with the youth, them, in the production, you know. So, Jaja People, October 2020, that was released. Yeah, 10th of the 10th, 10th 2020. 10th, 10th, 2020. My father's birthday, you know? Yeah? How has it been doing? Father Jeff? How has it been doing? Why, not as good as when we did sell vinyl, mm. but it's the case for digital everybody. Digital still a beat, yeah. Yeah, digital still a beat. But it do well in terms of that we never have no record company. I play all over the place and we get a whole heap of things. All people are calling now and I say, boy, as soon as you can come back to where we want to. So it, it worked that way there. You know, we get plays, we don't get millions of plays, but then again, we don't depend on a major platform, we don't have no major support. Mm. And it wasn't really done for that reason, to try and sell as much. It was just to uh, put out them tune with the facility where we have, because we never have the ability to record at leisure that kind of way. Yes. So now that we are we able to record at leisure, it was a pleasure mm. for really engaging a production project like that. And we do the thing them and the joy of working with my youth them, you know what I mean? Right. And and also as Moza say, with the goodwill we, we develop over the years in you know, the music fraternity, we can basically turn to most of the who's who in the music industry. And if I want them come give me a check. If me, if me, yeah, if I want Dean come blow some hands for me, I'm not going to tell me no. Yeah. You know what I mean? And me just say Dean because right, that, that, that come to my head. head. You know what I mean? Mm. But, but enough of the people that play keyboard with the group over the years, you know, big up man like Earl and Earl Fitzsimmons. We can't leave out them man because them man they put out for you know, and Pretty and empty the pan guitar, you right. know what I mean? Scooby pan keyboard, same way, you know. Sky Juice has percussion. You know, we can't call upon any one of them people. Like Bowie, we can't call upon God rest him soul. Um, Felouk. Yeah. Felouk, he play, do the work, you know what I mean? Also Dalton Brownie. Dalton. You know ah. what I mean? Them, them man there. We work with, with, I mean, everybody. It's a small Jamaican reggae industry back in the 70s and 80s. It was a tiny little set of Family people. Type you know? of yeah. So by the time the 90s, it's like, it's still small, yes. you still know everybody, you know. So too, we can depend on them people. It was so much fun because we could have just call a man and say, yo, come do something for me now, man. You know, Stingray, I want some trumpet for the tune here. And I say, yo, may I come check you out? You know, it was different in that way. You know, it wasn't like this thing where I have this budget and the man come work and when he's done, he signed mm. for him thing and I gave him envelope and, 
you know, it never have that kind of feel or that kind of the you family know, type of vibe. everything. Yeah, it was yeah. more for the fun of the music and the love of the music. You know. So lion and cymbal was very, very much a part of it. Yeah, man, them mm. play upon it too. But cymbal, well on, sir. Mm. Nicholas Henry, mm. Mike Henry son. Yeah, that's politician right. Mike Henry. Yeah, man, yeah, man, mm. yeah, man. And baby. I'm baby. Mm, this one. You know, yes. This one. So it was a good vibration. Yeah, it's like been positive, you know. I mean, everyone, everyone is an individual, yes. and and the real chemistry of the group is all the ones them coordinate together mm. and flex together. So you know what I mean. Nicholas bring a whole lot of en energy to the group and a lot of drive. He want things to be done, he want to get the tour going, he want to get the album finished, him want, you know what I mean? He always have some plan how to make the thing better, yes. you know? So he, he bring that positive energy to the group at the time when the group especially did need it too, because Nicky about the fourth or fifth drummer we will go through, mm. you know? But we changed a lot of drummer in the early part of our career, you know? But it, it's not like so we had a drummer for five years, right, right. you know? We have a drummer for three months. Mm. You know, two months, six weeks, I try an extra match, send him, you know what I mean? So when we, when Nicky came in, we were about, we probably gone about six years as a group, I do everything, you know what I mean? I do all them, win on all them records mm. before the Symbol come in. But by the time we were going into Young Revolutionaries, it was part of the group. Okay. So, so he was there from the first album, we were right through, you know? What is the status of the um, rebuilding for the house? Well, um, you know, my, my, my income yes, is really a, a surf camp where we provide accommodation and things for, for traveling surfers from around the world who want to come and make Jamaica. Have Jamaica on them bucket list of places where they want to surf. So we kind of provide accommodation and local knowledge about the sport. Um, and that is where really, since the music thing, I really I pay the bill them for me, you know what I mean? Mm. But with the COVID thing, you know, you know, the COVID thing kind of limit travelers, you know, for the past two years, the, the clientele really drop off drastically. So it's like a hand to mouth thing with the panel right now, really and truly with it, you know? And, but before that, you know, we were moving fast along with the project for fix up the house. Me campaign yeah, launch. man, yeah, man, because when we, when the house burned down and we get the, the architect people and the engineer them coming, they tell me, say, boy, Mystic, you're going to want, want at least 100,000 US for build back the house to where it was, you know. And I said, boy, I don't know how that going to happen, you know. So we just say, all right, we could just do what we can do, little by little. Yes. You know what I mean? And in uh, three years, we are going, we are look pan coming up here now and we still not finish, but, you know. But the GoFundMe is still active. Yeah, but you know them things that people serve for you for your time and then, you know what I mean? But you can't expect people for us to do everything for you. You have to yeah, do it for right. yourself, you yeah, know what I mean? Right, so we give right, thanks, right. we give thanks for the support that we get. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and we couldn't have done what we did without the support yeah. of the well-wishers and family and friends and people. Every man we, we donate 10 bags of cement and them things because enough people in the music industry come around and support and when we look at them drive come in and a man bring in some wheelbarrow and some shovel and you know everybody do what them could have do for help with get the thing. So we get it to a level now the roof gone on, the tile them gone in down so the, wind, the windows them gone in, the plumbing sort out and the electrical gone in and so it a move, you know what mm. I mean? So we give thanks for all of those who really support it for make it go on. Yeah man, I'm gonna pin the GoFundMe link on yeah, the video man. upload man, don't worry about it. Yeah man, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah man. So be glad we know so the family home and come back and I'm so yeah, happy man. that no life was lost. That are the greatest kinda, thing. I kind of hear a few stories as to what caused it and thing, but that's not important right yeah, now. The greatest yeah. thing is that no life was no, lost. No, well, well when, when, when the whole thing is said and done, you know, and people are saying, why mystic? Why, you're good enough, you know, because the way you take it, you know, take it in stride. Some people don't mash up and I say, I always look on the brighter side, you know, because yeah. I say, Right you now, if anything did happen to all one of my grand pitney in other fire them, me'd give away everything. Forget them back. Mm. Me'd cut off all my own neck and bleed out all of my blood if, if it would have bring them back. Yes. You know them really? So me I say, well, nothing happened to them and it's just the house. You know what I mean? So me not feel no way if you lose the house and know so the youth them safe. You know them way really? there? So I give thanks for that, you know? Yes. And then when I look upon it to me, say, well, 
People say, boy, I house, burn down and you lose everything in it. And I just say, you know what? I just count it, say, I don't got no house. And see it now, I get one house free, you know. And a man say, fix it up and take it. You know them mm. where So I just approach them, I take like, say, boy, I get a old burn out house. A man just say, fix it about, up and take yeah, it. Yeah, just mm. mistake. Just, you know, you know how to live, you know. But see one place there, you can, if you can put on a roof and start it out, I hear one, just take it. So I just approach it like, as an opportunity yeah. for, for rebuild the house and make it different and make it better and any little thing we never like about it first we can <laughs> so, try, yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I mean and, but like the approach and, yeah, and, and so, the frame so of mind yeah that's so how we deal still. with it you know mm. yeah man and as we say we have family for the strength and the help and the support mm. you know and encouragement you know behind every 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 them say successful but you know behind every strong man there's a strong man too you know them way there. And I have to big her up every time because uh, 40 odd years now we are doing it together. So through thick and thin and happiness and sadness and vexation and joy and yeah. the whole thing. You know what I mean? Because a good marriage is only as good as you make it be. You know what I mean? And it can only last for as long as you, you, want it to last. As, as you don't stop it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and when you're married, I just give a little advice and say, if you look a wife, look a mother for your children. Don't look, look for a spouse or a helpmate for yourself, really. You know, look for a mother for your children. And if you find a good mother for your children, then you're supposed to be ahead of the game. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. if I just choose to smile pretty, by the time she's 60, she could have none of teeth, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean? And you're not going to love her again now if, if you did love her. Look her mother for your oh, children. Uh, yeah, if you did Find love her. Long long <laughs> if, you did, if you did love her, she's shape. Yeah. Or her bumper set. You know, by the time she's 45. Bumper that, that, yeah, the, the titty, they're not going to stand up like all them used to stand up. And you're going to yeah. find say, you're dissatisfied with the choice that you make. Mm -hmm. But if you can look in her eye and love her, and she's a good mother to your children, the chances are she's going to be a good grandmother to your grandchildren and a good great-grandmother to your great-grandchildren. So, you know what I mean? Mm. Look for a, a mother for your pitney more than you look, look something for yourself. We work out about a while back still. All right. Talk, so. yeah, man, <laughs> I appreciate so the advice. That's Just the same. Yeah? You, you have mentioned wife here a lot. How many, how many children? We have five kids. Five kids. Four boys and a girl. Mm. Mm. And a few grands. Yeah, we have five grand right and now so far too. Yeah. You know? so, yeah, yeah, man. Go ahead, man. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. Mystic revealers, as we say, is not the name we are gonna come readily when you talk about groups in Jamaica and, mm. and performing bands, recording bands and stuff. But you guys you have eked out your own niche mm. and, and the name is there for yes. who wanna find it. Right. And, and overseas it, you think kinda yeah, kinda yeah, we, wider. Yeah, we wider. And but the good thing about it is that the music fraternity know about us. Right. All of, all of the who's who in music, them are aware the space where we did feel yes. and what we were and what we stood for and our sound and them thing there. And I, I get nothing but encouragement and uh, 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 and good words from Jamaica music fraternity where our music and the part that we played and the music that we did yes. you know and what it contributed to the overall movement so you have been many places to perform and stuff mm. where you know you get a warm fuzzy feeling there when you go to go work and you know you're going to go work the most yeah well you know you know say most places we go perform over the years and everywhere we go i pay people pay for come watch me you know so it, it, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you get a good warm fuzzy feeling yeah, man, God. most of the time, you know, because yeah. everybody were in there, they want to see you. Yes. you that makes I mean? sense, man. So, that makes sense. from once you have a good show mm. and you understand how to interact with people yes. and make them feel like, say, they were part of the experience and not just an onlooker, you know what I mean? Like they were exposed and shared a special moment. Yeah. Once you can create that energy in the place, you know, you will have a good show, you know what I mean? Where are you going to the mystic revealers yet? Where you want to go reveal to the people on that Africa. side? Africa. Africa. Any particular country? No, nah, man. Anywhere? Anywhere in Africa, man. <laughs> Anywhere in Africa. Some of the them go down there and, and go mash up the place, too. And so they kind of the part for Yeah, man, already. people dying for years. We, have, we have get called from Ethiopia, we get called from Kenya, we get called from South Africa, we get called. I get called from about four or five different African countries. No sound bad. But there we get a we get our interest from Egypt. Mm. But you don't know how it go. 
difficulty with traveling now yes. and them type yes. of thing then you have to go get vaccine and means I'm not afraid of the vaccine, I'm not, I'm not afraid to talk it, you know. He's not an anti vaxxer. Yeah. But you know, I'm afraid of when, when people have a force something upon you, you know. Yeah. You'll figure it out, man. Mm, You'll so figure it out with that. No, but I feel so I live a good life already, you know. Oh, okay. And everybody has to go dead somehow, you know. Some man afraid about, 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 about COVID you know, and he's a car I'll go lick him down tomorrow out of the road. Mm. You know see it. So you know, you, if, when your time come, your time are coming and I care how much vaccine you get. You know, I live forever. Mm. You see it. So so may I, may I just go and watch it, you know? Go and watch it. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Looking at the journey, sir, Mystic, mm. is there any one thing when you look on it, you're proud to say, yes, you know, say, my attain that, or we attain that, and, and that is something where I cherish as long as me have Well, me, me, you know, say, every individual, I cherish moments, you know. Mm. It's not, so it's like a little man come up to me on the road and say, boy, I missed the car on my group from a long time you know, and remember Romeo or them two they carry me to or religion I carry me to or, you know what I mean? Yes. Them things that make me feel good in myself because that was the purpose to touch an individual as opposed to getting some award from some place. Can we get an award? We, get, we win Jamie award already for, for, for Jaworks, I think it was. You know what I mean? When and we get a whole heap of notoriety and, and a whole heap of certificate and, and, and recognition, awards, all over the world, a whole heap of different countries where we go and get them thing there. And, you know what I mean? But it was never for that. It was for the people who love the music. Right. So when somebody come and tell us, say, John, I oh, love that album there, the new album there where you do Mystic, it, we can't take it out of my car, I hit a place straight. And, you know, things like that really make me feel good in myself, you know what I mean? Nice. Is but there, oh, sorry, otherwise, man. otherwise from that, you know, just watching my grand Pitney, them I grew up and how talented and how, how intellect, intelligent them is and, 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 and funny, amusing, you know what I mean? Just youth in general, because I, I love kids, you know, I feel like the kids are the future and them we have to worry about, you know, our time gone already and, you know, so I enjoy watching kids grow up and I love when I can have a positive influence in their life, you know, yes. if it's just even the youth them will come around Germany's or yes, so the surfer youth them, if it's even just a reason with them and I tell them to so take them books serious and uh, whatever it is we talk about. You know, them things they enjoy now, you know, trying to mentor yes. the, the younger ones them out there. You know? Musically speaking, is there anything where you know attain it, achieve it where you're still hope for it, you know? Get a grasp of that thing there? Not really. Not really. As I said, I never really enter the thing with no high expectations, you know. I get, it's like each step along the way I was getting what I wanted. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? It's like, boy, we want to go up on tour, you know, and start playing for some round and we end up on tour and we are do, you know what I mean? Mm. Boy, we want, we name calling the Grammy thing. Yeah, we get calling at the top one, when it's enough, enough. We think they're in there. Right. You know what I mean? So we say, all right, we know we're not Grammy. And maybe we're not end up in the last three albums we are called. But we did in at the, when it did reach 100, we did in it too. Now the early and elimination yeah, stages. Yeah. So I mean, you know. Which album? Jaworks. Jawer. Oh, yeah, Jaworks. Yeah, yeah, that one that did get the Tawoli Pop promotion, mm. you know. So it's like them type of thing, they never really was one of the things that did up on my mind. It was to enjoy the moment, you know, yes. cause life is all about the moment, you know, cause as we said, tomorrow is is a dream Promise about no now. Man. No, it's a dream about now. Oh, is that, tomorrow is a dream about now. Yeah, and the past is like a memory mm -hmm. about now. So time not, is not a thing where I move. Time not moving from the past through the present into the future. Time stationary and we, Come in a time in a pass and pass through time and go way back left time, right way did the time no move at all. You understand me, David? So, so I saw we really pre the thing, you know what I mean? So, the important thing is really now. It's like in a space and time, it's a so many men have fallen, so many men will die, so many have a dream. We see it shining in their eye. But dreams are nothing new because we all have dreamed before. But who can take their dream and make it something more in their time? You know, so I really that concept there 
we really are look for, mm. for people realize that now is the moment that we have the ability to change the future with, you know, not by doing something in the future. Yes. So, yeah. you know, other, other way that we really view it, so we never really, in it, we like to say, boy, I want to do those things, you know, we just maximize, you know, towards a hopeful future. Yeah. Is there a song in the catalog where it resonates with you more than the others? No, I have some special song mm. where it depends on the situation, on the, the moment. moment. You know what i Depends on the moment. I have certain songs where I don't even record them yet, they don't even release yet. And I have some songs where when I play them, I can't just play them so. Because before the tune done, I cry. And I want to run out of my eye and I can't hold my voice, I have to stop and all them way there. Mm -hmm. So you have some moments in time when you're really connected to a song, you know? And it really means a lot to you, but it's not like, say, every single time you sing that song, oh, okay. it have that effect there. You know, it's a, it's a cosmic to it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Depends on the yeah. energy and the Can vibration. I remember a certain tune when I release, when I like play them public, you know what I mean? But I remember me even go to Toronto one time, and. When I meet up, then I go up there to do some performance and thing. And my, 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 my sister in law up there, she work with some children in our centre, like for children at risk and runaway teens and halfway house kids will come out and lock up and thing and them they on probation or whatever. And them living at this house run by a church. And them ask me for come, come talk to the youth them, you know what I mean? Tell them about Jamaica and music. I carry my guitar and I go and, and I talk to them, you know what I mean? And some privileged youth them, you know, in a Toronto and them rude and thing, but them get everything where they want and them still go on like them not appreciate where they get, you know? So I have to sit down and talk to them and tell them, say, what well, I deal with, you know? Because even when I see them I behave, I forget to weigh upon them. And say, yo, when I do not realize the people, I say, you want me to tell you about some old ladies? I mean, one of them tell me, say, I'm 17. I say, I know a little youth, you see, I'm 17. His father dead a prison. And him have four brothers and sister. And him have left school for, him have dropped out of school for, I'm 13. And I walk him father ground. And take care of him, pitney them. I, 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 I brother, brother and sister them. Mm. Like, like I him are the father. You know, see it. I end up not even get for God's school, so that's him could have sent him sister to school. You know, see it. And only day as a right now, I want to drop out of school because you know why I'm to school. And you can't, you know, like the teacher. And have all this attitude. And I go on away. And when the people are calling on the inside, they come in like, I don't even deal with the people, I deal with them, no respect. You know what I mean? I don't even know what hardship is. And like the place just get quiet. Because over there, it comes like I can't talk to them hard, Ooh, certainly. Yes. But me as a man now, I just start to talk to them hard, you know. And I mean, so now I move, so, you know, see it. And then I saw me end up now and I and talk. And I'm say, well, I tell them, say, well, you know, it's a song I really come to play for me still. <laughs> and I saw me start to play the song. And I tell you, so the way I'm emotional when I mm. play the song. By the time I reach halfway through the song, people are like, carry tissue and come, come give me on the stage for wipe my eye. And so when I, I have to lock me, I can't open my eye, I have to lock my eye and sing the song. And so when I done the song, I open my eye, about six of them are ball in you know, the place. People hug up and hush people. And I don't know the song, but nobody is dead or nothing. You know, you know see, it's just one song named Simple Melody. Simple Melody? Yeah, you know. I don't know me not record. Oh, you not record it yet? No. Okay. So maybe the next album that will depend on it, you know. Mm. But, that song there is a special song to me. Space and time is a next and time. special song to me because of the way it really I promote, you know what I mean? So if you take your life in hand and do something with yourself, you know what yes. I mean? So I love all them songs there. I have some love songs where really Lovely. talk about when I sing off of some reality thing, yes. you know what I mean? So them songs they're really nice too. You know what I mean? So there's a number of songs where I really appreciate what we do. Yeah. But as I say, from time to time, you tend to favor this one or favor the next one, depending on the situation, you know? Mm. You have done so on, on, on um, Judge of People, there's a song with Chronics. You have also done collaboration with people like Sizzler. 
Ja, man, we hebben zo'n 45 met hem. De tang hebben we nog een album. Oké. Ik denk dat de Sizzla one die komt uit van Cross in de Atlantic. Oké. Dat zou een van de zijn. Maar ik doe een song met Angie Angel, Culture Knox, Wat weer? Angie Angel, Culture Knox, Wagen, DJ Snow from Canada, in Farm. You remember them all? Yes, man. Yeah, man, we do have something. How about Big Up Snow too, you know, in the way we Snow there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You do some with Anthony B as well? Yeah, man, Anthony B as well. You know, quite a few over the years, you know, some yes. more more known than, than others, you know. Yeah, man. Is there anybody where you're not doing work with it musically, collaboratively, that you don't mind going out of the studio one day? Or up on the veranda? A whole heap, a whole heap of people, man. You know, it's not like you don't want to give me no name, you know. A whole heap of people. No, man, because nobody not really stand out that much as me to mention them over some other people. Yeah. So I not really like, because the way you ask the question, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, say, is there anyone? Yeah. Like for me, you're going to say, there is one, you know what I mean? What may I say? If I say burning spear, you know what I mean? But then it left to the energy. Music is an energy, you know, King. You know yeah. what I mean? It's a moment thing, you know. You book 12 hours through the time and you go in. You can't just walk in and say, run the tape, you know. You have to build two spliff and talk and we go on last week. And you got the session right away. Right, right. What happened to Jerry and that girl? Him, them did work out. Right. I only put things off it. Till a man take up him thing and start tuning him thing and you, you know what I mean? Vibes, so, yeah, so some, some music is a thing that really stays so more time even when I work on my previous album them, enough people collaborate on it, you know what I mean? But them come in maybe when we are lay harmony, you know what mm. I mean? Pam all them there at the studio and I'm Lucian and all them things and I love what I go and say, well I'm gonna put peace on it and you know what I mean? So you work with a lot of people, but in terms of having a project yes. where there's a budget and the intention is for you and this person to record a song together for the purpose of that, you know, me never really... Meds it away then? No. Me, me prefer when it happens more natural. Yeah. When we're just dead and we, are, we sit down on the beach and a strum and we catch a vibe and say, do you know if we record this in my youth? You know what I mean? Me prefer when it comes that way rather than a kind of contrive way, you know? Looking at the journey, is there anything where you then do differently if you get the chance for, for really the musical journey? Um, I probably, I probably would, have, would have been more interested in developing myself as a solo artist. Oh. You know? Spend more time on that. Because a lot of Vocal the time... Vocal musical wise? No, just for say, well, boy, to produce some okay. song for myself as Billy Mystic, separate mm -hmm. and apart from Mystic Reveal. Yes. Because when you have a large group of musicians, it's not everything not always smooth, you know. Yeah, smooth. You yes. have many different persons. Yeah, you and have clash and you have mm -hmm. this and you have things where you end up holding you up and you miss certain opportunity because of dynamics of the group and all them things. Man and man are vex and this and that, and you know what I mean? Me as a man, me, me was always in the middle of all of that. Trying to keep the money off of the man there and trying to see you know, them type of thing there, you know. So all of them energy there is part of it too. So what me that probably do, me that probably spend more time experimenting and exploring oh, my uh, uh, my even a solo album. Mm. You know what I mean? Them way there. Not too late for no, it's not too late for that, mm. you know. And basically the Jaja people album was supposed to have been a solo album yeah. because it wasn't all about just the mystic reveal as self-contained band. Me, Lion and Nicky, yes, but it's not Nicky play jump and everything. Yes, oh, okay. I have a son play jump and some of the track them I only play jump. We use Davian play drum, we use Giant play drum. You know what I mean? I have all kind of people on keyboard and not just my son. I know we use Earl and Earl are one of our keyboardists and him they pan it and we use Scooby. Scooby record and him was one of the original. But and you know, me was other me all play some keyboard and yeah. my son play some keyboard and some of the track them too and me play some guitar and my son play guitar and my son play bass. You know what I mean? And we bring in all kind of people who were not like in other group mystic revealers to mm. come add to the sound, you know what I mean? Cat core give me guitars, pan it and you know, we work with a whole heap of people. I sax, a lot of the saxophone work and Hans work I mean, I do with all this a white rust from out of Toronto, very talented virgin named Isaacs, out in, living in yes. Negril. And 
give me some exceptional work in terms of the hands and them thing them work. You know, uh, so with with um, Stingray, Stingray give me a big strength where the hand systems was concerned, you know. So it was it was more so a Billy Mystic project, you know. Billy Mystic and Friends. Billy, Billy Mystic and Friends. Yeah, Billy Mystic Revealers and Friends. friends. Yeah, mm. and family. And so family, gonna leave yes. out that too. Yes. So, How are things, re royalties and publishing, though? Because that seemed to well, be a... Well, uh, you know, royalties and publishing, um, them things they're safe. You know what I mean? We registered up, but we still a lot of stuff back in the days still out road, eh? was out there. You know what I mean? Where right now we even in the position of of um, sorting out some of the little bits and pieces and loose ends here and there. You know, um, but but it's as a result of the music industry kind of straightening itself out a bit more now, mm -hmm. and the, the the opportunity for tracking your digital performances out there. You know, one time there, now it play up on the radio, there is ISRC code and all these things where, you know what I mean, make sure say you get your returns for your thing. It's very, very minuscule. The percentages that you get very, very tiny, but it better than getting nothing, you know sure. what I mean? So because of that, now it makes sense for you, you, you get all of your stuff straight, all of your legal stuff straight, so that who, who to tell in the future as the thing improve, you know what I mean? Maybe the creators of music will get more justice in terms of them remuneration for the work and effort to them put out to create music for the people. Yeah. Mm. Still in the studio, still at work, yeah, still on the veranda, still yeah, devout. Yeah, man, music, music is still something right. you're in love with. Yeah, man, you can't mm. stop. Yes. But uh, you guys would dub plate, as in the Mystic Reveal as a I've plate. done a number of dub plate for people, yeah. but it's it's not it's not something that I promote really. Yeah. All right. so if people out there who want to get in touch with them for dub plate, how they go about them, doing that? Them, them Billy have a tick. Yeah, man. The people them out there yeah, with Billy them, yeah, get them. Get yeah, man. Billy bring, pan dub yeah, plate, man, bring, how, they, how they go about doing it? Yeah, man. Bring one. Like, if, if I'm a friend, you can bring one like a thousand dollar. Yeah. I might get a little special. Yeah. You know, a thousand US. You know what I mean? And maybe go up by the year soon, don't you know? I forgot to ah. re recheck all them fees. You yeah, still not tell people yeah. them how they have reached, yeah, yeah. how they get in yeah, touch with you. Just look, go, 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 <laughs> on, go, on, go on internet and look for Billy Mystic. Yeah. Look for Mystic Revealer. Look for surfing in a Jamaica. Surfing in a Jamaica. Look for Billy Wilmot. You know what I mean? All kind of thing. If you're not a real detective, me can't hide it. You know what I'm saying? Make one look up his space on time now. Standing in the footprint of who's been here before. Not just another martyr. No way something more. A spirit that lives on through every age and time. Like a thought, although eternal. Still occupy your mind in space and time. In space and time. Space and time. Space and time. Space and time. In space and time. Space and time. Space and time. So many men have fallen, and many men will rise. And many got this dream, I see it shining in their eyes. But dreams are nothing new, we've all had dream before. But who can take a dream and make it something more in the time? Said in the time, in the time, in the time, in the time. You can do it in your time, in your time, in the time. So your life is there before you. Time is moving on. In just a little while, it's gonna seem your life is gone. So take your chance and make it into something that will grow. Don't let the evening find you with nothing there to show. For your time, for your time, in space and time, in 
space and time, space and time, space and time, don't blow your mind, in space and time. Space and time. <laughs> Bigger boss. All right, my brother. Give thanks, brother. Yeah, appreciate man. the reason, brother. Yeah, appreciate man. the history. You see some right. things that me I say, yeah? Let me know if that's how it go. That's how it go. Look at my look. And there's much more to tell. Me, me, me know, man. There's me much know, more man. things we can't you know, talk about it one, one day. One day in the future again. The amount of thing. things we will leave mm. out. Yeah, yeah, me know how things set up. Yeah, yeah man. Set up, you know how things go. We have enough comedy to all what things are going up on the road and all them things. One, one next day in the future. Then, yeah, man. You know, so you have a next yeah. thing. When you have the comedy, <laughs> the comedy episode. Yeah, man. You just come link me. We can't be out. Oh, finish in due time. Yeah, man. Give thanks. As soon as the thing open up again, Jamnesia can open and run in. Yeah, man. Probably can't go and check it out, one of them time. See, a couple of the young youth that went off through the thing. Yeah, and them something there. And that's one of the things, brother. You have touched many different lives in many different ways and many different places. You've thanks, you know? You know, in your own space and time. Yeah, man. <laughs> Big of us. Yeah, man. Bless up, brother. Heart of love. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Bless you every time. Yeah. yeah, man. Teach oh. them. Yeah. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!